I need at least 12 sources on how Facebook affects privacy. Does Facebook affect privacy? What? Hey there. Who are you? I'm the library research sock. I see you're having some trouble. Um, yeah, I, I can't find anything with my search. That's because you need to learn how to speak database. Your topic is how does using Facebook affect privacy? First get rid of that fluff and just focus on the key concepts. You'll take those key concepts and look for places in the databases to search for key words. Every database has something like this. Okay, well I'll just try to type in Facebook and privacy. But I'm seeing articles, but my professor said that they need to be from the past two years. Oh, well that's easy. There's always a way to limit by date. You can do it before you start searching, or you can do it after you get your results. Okay, well that makes the date thing easy, but how do I know if they're academic articles? Different databases use different words to talk about academic articles. You'll see academic, scholarly, peer-reviewed, refereed, but they're all pretty much the same. Just look for a place in your database where you can narrow down by the type of content you want. But I'm actually seeing a lot of articles that have to do with business. What if I want to narrow my topic to college students only? You'll want to refine your search. Luckily, most databases allow you a way to do that. Look for a way to search within your results, or even to add a whole nother term. I keep seeing the phrase social networking come up. Try searching for that instead of Facebook. If you keep seeing the same language coming up over and over again, try searching that instead. Switching to social networking can take you from 200 results to 500 results. Alright, well here's something that actually looks really good. But how do I read the article? Oh, that's easy. Let me show you how. Click on its title. Usually you can read the article down the middle of the page, but also keep an eye out for a toolbox. This will let you print, email, or download the article, and sometimes you'll see a PDF. Picking View PDF Pages will take you to a scan of the original article as it appeared in print, including the original layout, graphs, charts, images, and page numbers. Every database is pretty much the same. You'll have the article, a toolbox, and hopefully, full text PDF. Okay, well I clicked on this link, but I'm only seeing a summary. How do I actually read the full text of the article? Sometimes you won't see the full text for an article. When that happens, look for a link to get it at UTC. It looks like a couple other databases have this article. Click one of the links under the green bar. And there's the full text. Uh-oh, this article doesn't have a green bar. When you see this happen, ask a librarian. All databases are pretty much the same. You'll want to find keywords, limit by date, limit to scholarly articles, add new search terms, look for a PDF, and see where the Get It button takes you. And don't forget, if you ever have questions, just ask a librarian. Okay, well I feel pretty confident about this now. Thanks, Sock. <laughs>